Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakashan Tutorials. In this video, I am going to design modeling of fin diode for on switching in reconfigurable antennas. First, I am going to design micro, uh, microchip transmission line, lambda by 2 microchip transmission line at 2.4 GHz operating frequency. In my previous video, I already designed lambda by 2 microchip transmission line at 2.4 GHz operating frequency. So the design calculations already explained in that video. Please refer that one. So first save the project. Right click on the project. Save as. And the name of the project is pin diode underscore on state click the save button so my project is successfully saved so go to the select the box draw the blocks anywhere in the plane So give the rename of this box 1, this is substrate, substrate and change the type of the material, here I am selecting substrate material is FR4 material, FR4 epoxy, and now change the dimensions of the substrate. The length and width of the substrate material is and for lambda by 2 microchip transmission line uh, the length of the transmission line is 34.2 mm so approximately I am considering the length of the transmission line is 34 mm so I am considering the length and width of the substrate is 34 mm the length is 34 mm and width of the substrate is 34 mm and x size 34 mm and y size is 34 mm and thickness of the substrate I am considering 1.6 mm and the position the x position is half of the x size value before representing negative sign minus 17 mm and y position value is uh, y position value is half of the y size value before representing negative sign minus 17 mm comma z position is 0 so click the OK button, select fit all, so this is the substrate, so below the substrate we can design ground plane, select the rectangular sheet, draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane, so give the rename of the rectangular one and this is ground plane. Change the dimensions of the ground plane. See the, the length and width of the ground plane is same as that of the length and width of the substrate. And x size is 34 mm and y size is 34 mm and position value is minus 17 mm x position and y position is minus 17 mm and z position is 0. Press the OK button. And this is the substrate. This is the substrate, and this sorry, this is the ground plane. This is localized ground plane. On the top of the ground plane, we can use, we can design substrate. So this is the substrate, and this is the ground plane. Next, draw the transmission line. Select the rectangular sheet. So draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this rectangular one transmission line.
and change the dimensions of the transmission line. The length of the transmission line is 34 mm and this is the x axis, this is, y, uh, this is x axis, this is y axis, and this is z axis and x size is 34 mm and width of the transmission line is I am considering 2 mm and x position is minus 17 mm half of the x size value before representing the negative sign and y position value is minus 1 m minus 1 mm before representing negative sign value so this transmission line is located on the top of the substrate that height of the substrate is 1.6 mm so the z position value is 1.6 mm so press the ok button so this is the transmission line Next, select the slot, take the rectangular sheet, draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So, give the name of this rectangular sheet, slot. And now change the dimensions of the rectangular sheet. So, now here I am considering the length and width of the rectangular sheet is 2 mm and position value is half of the exercise value minus 1 mm and half of the y size value minus 1 mm and z position is 1.6 mm that is height of the substrate that uh, rectangular sheet that slot is located on the top of the substrate so that z position is 1.6 mm so press the ok button so this is the rectangular slot and this is transmission line so now cut this rectangular slot from the transmission line select the transmission line using the control button Next, click the slot button, press substrate, this window will appear on the screen. So, blank pot is transmission line, tool pot is slot, click the OK button, the slot is removed from the transmission line. And this is the transmission line, from the transmission line, removing the slot. Now, select the ground plane and the transmission line, assign perfect electric boundary and this is the ground plane and this is the transmission line, select the ground plane and transmission line, so right click on, right click, go to assign boundary, select perfect E, click the OK button, so now here the ground plane boundary, so this is the perfect electric boundary perfect electric boundary ground plane and transmission line perfect electric boundary and now change the x plane to yz plane next assign the draw the rectangular ports port 1 and port 2 so now change the plane X plane to YZ, XY plane to YZ plane, select YZ plane. So take the rectangular sheet, draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this rectangular sheet is port 1. Change the dimensions of the port 1. The y size is 2. Uh, the y size is axis is along x axis. Y size is 2 mm and z size is minus 1.6 mm. And position. So the position value is. So now the length of the uh, transmission line is 34 mm. Uh, and half of its value is 17 so index position is 17 mm and y position is minus 1 and z position is 1.6 mm so click the ok button this is the port 1 next select port 2 draw the rectangular sheet select this port 1 ctrl c ctrl v and this is the port 2 
So now change the dimensions of the port 2. So change the exposition values minus 17 mm and rotate the structure. This is port 2. This is port 2 and this is port 1. Now assign lumped port excitation of port 1 and port 2. Select port 1. Right click on the port 1. Go to assign excitation. Select lumped port. And full port impedance is 50 ohms. Click the next button. Take the new line integration. Draw the new line integration from lower port of the rectangular sheet to the upper port of the rectangular sheet. So the port is successfully defined. Click the next button. So renormalize all modes. Full port impedance is 50 ohms. Click the finish button. So this is port 1. Lumped port excitation. And select the lumped port excitation of port 2. And rotate the structure. Select the port 2. Right click on the port 2. Go to assign excitation. Lumped port. Full port impedance is 50 ohms. So take the new line integration. Draw the new line integration from lower port of rectangular port to the upper port of the rectangular port. So this port is successfully defined. Click the next button. And click finish button. So this is port 2. Port 1 and port 2. And after assigning lumped port excitations of port 1 and port 2. So now change the plane, yz plane to the xy plane. Coming back to the xy plane. So create RLC boundary. So draw the rectangular sheet. So pin diode switch, p diode switch. Draw the pin diode switch between, between this transmission line. So draw the pin diode switch between this rectangular transmission line slot. So draw the rectangular sheet, select the rectangular sheet, draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this rectangular one is capacitor 1, C1. So change the dimensions of the rectangular sheet, capacitor 1 and uh, axis is along the z axis and x size is minus 0 0.5 and y size and this is the y size, the width is 2 mm and this uh, x size width is 2 mm. So now here we are considering the 4 rectangular shot. So 2 divided by 4. 2 divided by 4 0 0.5 so x size width is 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 the position is 1 comma minus 1 1.6 mm click the ok button so duplicate now duplicate along the line to create other three rectangular sheets so click and drag in the same slot or otherwise select the rectangular sheet or otherwise select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet of the other end of the transmission line, other ending of the transmission line. So give the rename of this rectangular one is capacitor 2, C2. Click the OK button. So now change the dimensions of the this rectangular sheet. And x size is 0 0.5 and y size is 2 mm and position is minus 1 mm, minus 1 mm, comma minus 1 mm. 1.6 mm click the ok button so this is capacitor 1 capacitor 2 pin diode switch pin p switch and switch so between now where the on switch means the resistance and inductor are connected in the series form resistor and connect inductors are, con uh, are, are connected between the transmission lines in series form now select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the 
plane and give the rename of this rectangular sheet so this rectangular is inductor L and change the dimensions of the inductor and x uh, axis is along the z axis x size is minus 0 0.5 y size is 2 and position is 0 0.5 x position is 0 0.5, y position is minus 1 mm and z position is 1.6 mm. Click the OK button. And this is the inductor. And after the inductor, draw the rectangular sheet. Select the rectangular sheet. So draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. So give the rename of this rectangular one is resistor. So change the dimensions of the, this rectangular sheet. X size is 0 0.5, Y size is 2 and X portion is minus 0 0.5 mm, Y portion is minus 1 mm and Z portion is 1.6 mm. Click the OK button. So for the on, on state mean, modeling of fin diode for on switching mean, the, the small small resistance value and some inductance value in between the connection, in between the transmission lines are arranged in series form. Now assign lump port, assign RLC boundary, lump port, RLC. Select the capacitor one, right click on this C1, go to assign boundary select lump port rlc and after so right click on c1 go to assign boundary select lump port rlc and uh, this is the capacitor one and the uh, capacitor one value is 0 0.5 microfarad and select the serial series form and current flow line select the current flow line select the new line new line current flow line and draw the line from this rectangular sheet this end to the this end And this is the current flowing direction. So this is successfully defined. So click the OK button. So now here we will observe the lump RLC1. Assign RLC boundary. Next, select the capacitor 2. This is the capacitor 2. This rectangular sheet is capacitor 2. Right click on the capacitor 2. Go to assign boundary. Select lump RLC and the capacitance value is 0 0.5 microfarad and the select series form serial so draw the current flow direction select the new line so draw the current flow direction of this rectangular sheet successfully defined click the ok button so this is lump port rlc1 capacitor 1 current flow direction this is lump port rlc boundary current flow direction next select the inductor right click on the inductor this is the this rectangular short is inductor right click on inductor go to assign boundary select lump port rlc and the inductance value is 0 0.4 nano Henry. So now we are the, the inductor and resistance are connected in series form that is for on, on state for switching is in on position for switching is in on position mean the inductance and resistance are connected in the series form. So select serial so draw the current flow direction take the new line current flow 
சொல்றாதா கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோ டைரக்ஷன் ஸோ சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல்லி டிஃபைன் கிளிக் த ஓகே பட்டன் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த கரண்ட் டைரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி இண்டெக்டர் நெக்ஸ்ட் செலக்ட் த ரெசிஸ்டர் ரைட் கிளிக் ஆன் தி ரெசிஸ்டர் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த திஸ் ரெக்டாங்குலர் ஷீட் இஸ் ரெசிஸ்டர் ரைட் கிளிக் ஆன் தி ரெசிஸ்டர் go to assign boundary select lumped port and the resistant value for the on switch uh, for on state the resistance value is very small so now we have the resistance value is 2 ohms select the serial position and draw the current flow direction take the new line integration so draw the current flow direction so successfully define click the okay button so this is capacitor c1 current flow direction capacitor c2 current flow direction and inductor current flow direction resistor current flow direction so for mo mo modeling of pin diode for on switching position and off switching position i will explain my next video select fit all and after assign rlc boundary on state select the radiation box select the box draw the box anywhere in the plane so uh, give the rename of the box one this is radiation boundary and change the material of the radiation boundary here i am selecting air material so now change the dimensions of the air box and here i am considering exercise is 100 mm y size is 100 mm and z size is 100 mm and x position y size y position z position values are half of the x size y size z size value before defining negative sign that is minus 50 mm comma minus 50 mm comma minus 50 mm click the okay button select fit all so this is the radiation this is the box and assign the boundary to this box select the box right click on the box go to assign boundary select radiation only click the okay button so this is the radiation so this is the perfect electric boundary and this is the radiation boundary and this is lumped port capacitor c1 and this is lumped port capacitor c2 and this is lumped port inductor rlc and this is lumped port resistance rlc now set the analysis setup go to the simulation select advanced setup so now here my operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz i am selecting the number of pulses are 20 maximum delta s is 0.02 so click the okay button and the sweep type is i am selecting fast and uh, dis uh, distribution is linear count and the starting frequency is i am considering i am selecting 1 gigahertz and ending frequency is 5 gigahertz and the maximum number of points i am considering 101 so click the okay button so now check the validity click the validate button so the design is successfully validated now start the simulation click analyze all
So simulation is successfully completed. Now observe the results. So right click on the results. Go to create model solution data report. Select rectangular sheet. Select S11, S22 in decibel. Click the new report. The S parameter plot will observe on the screen. So mark the designated operating frequency. Now here my designated operating frequency is 2.4 GHz and this is S11 curl and this is S22 curl. So in S11 curl the return loss value is minus 47.9 decibel. This is very good value. So modeling of pin diode switch for on switching in reconfigurable antenna is successfully designed and simulated. And S22 at port 2, the return loss value is minus 32.62 decibel. So next observe the VSWR plot. Go to the results. Right click on the results. Create model solution data report. Select rectangular plot. Select VSWR1, VSWR2. Click the new report. Mark the designated operating frequency. So, and this is VSWR1 curve, and this is VSWR2 curve. So now we are at 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency. So the VSWR value is one. So this is very good value. Next, observe the far fields reports. So go to the radiation. Right click on the radiation. First select the infinite far field setup, infinite sphere, the pi value is minus 180 to plus 180, step size is 2 and theta value is 0 to 360 degrees, step size is 2, click the OK button and observe the far field radiation patterns, go to the results, right click on the results, go to create far fields report, select radiation pattern and select the gain in decibel and select the family of the functions. So now the family of functions, pi values are minus 180 to plus 180. Here I am selecting some of the family functions. I am considering minus 90 degrees and plus 90 degrees family of the functions. Minus 90 degrees. So using control button, select plus 90 degree family of functions. Select the new report. So this is the two dimensional radiation pattern gain radiation pattern. Similarly observe the two dimensional directivity radiation pattern in decibel. So this is the two dimensional directivity radiation pattern. Close this window. So this is the two dimensional gain radiation pattern minus 90 degree plus 90 degree. Next observe the 3D polar plot. Go to the results. Right click on the results. Go to create far field reports. Select 3D polar plot. Select the directivity in decibel. Gain in decibel. So directivity in decibel, click the new report. So the directivity value is 3.71 value. Next observe the field patterns. Select the rectangular sheet, transmission line. Right click on the transmission line, go to plot fields, select, uh, go to plot fields, uh, current density, select the magnitude surface current density. So click the done button and this is the surface current density magnitude value and observe the animation, go to field overlays, right click on this magnitude surface. Select animation. So this is the 
surface current density animation and its value is uh, 89.157 ampere per meter and this is port 1 mode 1 port field display and this is mode 2 port to displays next observe the electric fields electric field field patterns select the transmission line right click on the transmission line go to plot fields select electric field magnet uh, magnetic electric field click the done button so the electric field is 7400 volts per meter observe the animation.